Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at another executor for Roblox, which is currently working with the latest version of the Bifron update. Now, I do suggest watching the video to the very end so you don't miss any of the important download steps. And let's get right into it. So first things first, come over to your Windows icon and search for Virus and Threat Protection. Go ahead and open that up and go into Manage Settings. Once you open Manage Settings, go ahead and turn off the Real-Time Protection. This step is extremely important. If you don't do this, you will not be able to download the executor. Now, you will be able to turn on your real-time protection again in a little while, but I will show you what you need to do before you do that. So once you've done that, go ahead and close out of that and go into the first link in the description, which will be the download link for the executor. Once you open that, it will take you to this page right here. From there, go ahead and click on the executor download button and it should take you to this page over here. From there, go ahead and complete these steps and it will take you to the, the final download manager. So go ahead and click on download now and choose wherever you wish to download it. For me, I'm going to choose my desktop. Go ahead and click on save and go back to your desktop. Go ahead and double click the download manager and click on yes. That will open up the download manager for you. So just give it a couple of seconds. Go ahead and click on next. From here, go ahead and click on decline and go ahead and click on decline again. It is completely up to you if you want to install any of these programs. If not, then go ahead and click on decline. Once you've completed that, it will give you your own unique link. Go ahead and copy that and take it to the browser and paste that. Once you paste it, it will give you the final download. From there, go ahead and choose wherever you wish to download it. For me, I'm going to choose my desktop once again and click save. If it does show this message right here, go ahead and hold down control and press J. That will open up your downloads folder. From there, go ahead and click on keep file and click keep anyway. You don't have to worry about anything being dangerous. This is completely safe. It's just a false positive, so you need to make sure you do that. But once you've done that, you can go ahead and close out of that and close this as well. You can also delete the download manager now and right click the electron file and go ahead and click on extract all. Once you click that, click on extract and that should create a new electron folder for you. You can close out of that for now and you can now delete the zipped file from here. There we go. So we've got the electron folder. So once again, just close out of that and go back into your virus and threat protection once again go into manage settings and turn on or before you actually turn this on go down and click on add or remove exclusions click on yes click on add an exclusion choose folder and then choose wherever you have your electron downloaded for me it's on my desktop and then go ahead and just single click the folder so it's highlighted and click select folder make sure it's been added to your exclusions as you can see for me it's been added right there from there you can go ahead and click on back scroll up and if you wish to turn on your real-time protection you can now go ahead and turn that on. Once you've got your exclusion added, you can now go ahead and open up Roblox. So click on this icon right here and search for Microsoft Store. Again, this will not work with the browser version of Roblox. This will only work with the Microsoft Store. So go ahead and search for Microsoft Store and click on Roblox. If you haven't already got it installed, you can install it at this point and click on play. So once the Roblox does open, you can go back to your Electron folder. For me, I've installed the files already. If you haven't got all of these files, you can just click the Electron. And if it gives you a little alert, go ahead and click on More Info. There should be a little icon over there saying More Info. Go ahead and click that and click Run anyway. And that should launch it for you. And then from there, click on Yes. And there we go. So once Electron does open, it does say Please Attach and everything. I do have Auto Attach on already. There we go. So it should automatically inject into Roblox when I do go into a game. As you can see, it has already said Connected because I am in Roblox. So at this point, you can pretty much go into any game and you can use any script of your choice. And that is pretty much how you download and use the executor. Now, if it's your first time using the executor, every 24 hours, you have to generate a key for Electron. That is pretty simple. I have explained it in many of my previous videos of Electron. You can go and watch those if you haven't already. And yeah, that's pretty much how you use Electron. And every time you do generate a key, it lasts for 24 hours and then you have to generate another one but the steps for generating it are really simple and I have explained them in all of my videos. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. If you did like it, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and as always, thanks for watching.